Many community states and countries have started easing the lockdown and this is good news because that means that we are reopening the economy and this means that businesses have started opening their doors to customers. While this is good news, there is a concern and that is just before reopening or returning to work, are there certain things you need to put in place? I bet there are and these are the things I'm ready to share with you today. I am Perpetua Fasomi Peter. Let's jump right in. <laughs> reopening and return to work strategy i'll be sharing three with you but before then i need you to go watch this video one this is beautiful it's a very beautiful video on this video i talked about some of the things we need to do so that our businesses can survive during the lockdown and i want to tell you that the thoughts i shared in that video are useful even for now now back to what i want to talk about today there are three strategies i want to share with you the first one is be informed. The second one is communicate safety and the third one is act safety. I'll start with the first one, be informed. Now the question is, um, Perpetua, what exactly are you talking about? It's simple. There are so many guidelines that have been released by WHO and disease centers in different countries, depending on your country. And so I want to believe that your country also has a guideline. The Ministry of Health has a guideline and maybe the body of professionals you belong to also has a guideline. Now these guidelines you have to follow them because these guidelines will ensure that we contain the spread even though we are making money and smiling to the banks. <laughs> All right, so being informed is not just about having the information, but it's also about doing whatever it is we are being told to do. And you should only listen to the right channels, the authoritative channels. Now that's one. The next thing is communicate safety. Now this part is really important because we need to let people know that we care about them. You're a business owner or you own a company. You need your staff to trust you. You also need your clients to trust you. I can't do business with you if I'm not sure about whether or not you're putting certain measures in place. And so you need to let people know that you've put certain measures in place. I'll start with your staff. First, you need to let them understand that it's okay if they don't feel good. By that, I mean, it's okay if they do not feel well. So if they feel unwell, they should be able to call. They should be able to send a message and stay home. It's okay for a staff to stay at home when they see that they are either coughing or sneezing. Whatever it is, once a staff isn't feeling well, that staff should be permitted to stay at home. Not only that, we also need to let them know that they need to really stay safe wherever they find themselves. It's not only when they are in your business space. When they are in their different houses, when they are on the streets, when they are, they are anywhere, they really have to stay safe. You have to communicate this to them. And another thing is you also probably have to teach them how to decontaminate. And so when they get back home, whatever it is, wherever it is they have gone, they have to decontaminate because at the end of the day, if they come into the business, um, probably they've been infected and then they come into the space, they might infect another person they are working with. And before you know it, it's probably going to go around. You don't want that to happen, I believe. So it's better to put measures in place to ensure that these things do not happen. All right. And then for your clients, you can also provide masks for your clients. You know, you can tell your client, you can send out a message telling them, telling them that they are not allowed to come in without wearing a mask. This is an example. A company did this. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you, you may think this is harsh, but hey, it's all about safety. And that's why it's there. All right. And apart from that, if you might also need your clients to know some other things they really have to do, you know, that's important. Just communicate with them. Let them know that you are taking safety seriously. Just let them know it because I can't do business with you if I am not sure that you're, you're, you're taking safety seriously. I don't want to buy things from someone I'm not sure about. 
and so you need to communicate this to us let's know that you're doing everything you can to be safe now the last part which is act safety i intentionally coined that because i feel it's very important and i just wanted that word safety to ring a bell that's why i decided to use act safety now what do i mean the first thing you have to do is to provide protective gears for who for your staff and you know what these things are the masks the sanitizers or the hand washing equipment whatever it is you want to provide for them ensure that you have that done and then social distancing or decongestion is also something that's very important so now the question is you have a business space or a workspace how many people can this space conveniently accommodate per time and you know when we talk about decongestion or congestion what congestion means during COVID-19, you know, the COVID-19 world is different from what congestion meant a while ago or some days or some months, some, some months back. So the congestion or congestion right now is a situation where people cannot conveniently stay six feet apart from each other. So if people cannot conveniently stay six feet apart, then that means that it's a congestion. Another thing you will probably want to consider is I want to tell your customers that they won't be allowed to probably eat in. That's if it's a restaurant. You know, if it's an eatery, you can tell them no eating in. So if you're coming in, you're coming in with the mindset of carry out or take out or you order online and then they get their stuff delivered to them. That's something you can do. All right. So moving away from the social distancing or the decongestion, the next point is you have to limit or stop cash transactions this is really important limiting or stopping cash transactions now this is important because hmm, you never can tell who is who well maybe not necessarily because you never can tell who is who but we all just have to be very careful and i mean extra careful nobody wants to take chances and so some of the things you can do is to provide alternatives and what do i mean by that maybe you accept transfers or another thing you can do is to have the POS so people can actually have the point of sale machine where they get to pay for whatever it is they have used. And please, I need to make it clear right now. The moment a person uses it, ensure it is wiped clean. Wipe the surface, wipe surfaces. You can wipe surfaces as many times as possible and by surfaces i mean around the business space around you know the, the whole space and all that you can keep doing this throughout the day it's important it's for safety at the end of the day because money must be made and life has to continue and if life has to continue we need to learn to live with this virus and learning to live with it means we need some behavioral changes and so, and that behavioral change starts from you. You also have to empower your staff. That's why I started with communicating these things, you know, to them. So when you communicate to them, they know better. They understand why you're doing what you're doing. And at the end of the day, it becomes easy to act on these instructions that I believe you'll be, you know, you'll be giving to them. And so apart from providing alternatives, ensure that you wipe the machine after use, it's important, and also wipe surfaces as many times as possible. Now, one final thing I feel is also very important that's under acting safety is digitizing your process. Are there things that your customers can do online? Are there things they probably don't necessarily have to walk in to do? Then let them do it. Educate them, let them know that, okay, you're changing your processes and these are some of the things they'll be able to do online. You don't have to come into the space to do them anymore. So you have to communicate that also. Let them know that you've made provisions for that to happen. And that way, everyone is happy. All right, if you can digitize all your processes, beautiful. But if you cannot digitize everything as much as you can, digitize the things that you can digitize. All right, and also you can also consider your staff. Are there some of them that can work from home? If there are people who can conveniently work from home, then let them work from home. Just provide them with the things that they'll be needing to successfully, efficiently work from home. And that way we'll still be smiling to the bank and at the same time we will be safe and we'll be keeping our family, friends, staff and loved ones safe. 
Thank you so much for listening to me. And guess what? I am super excited to have you listen. I need you to subscribe if you have not done that. But if you have subscribed, thank you. That means you're a returning subscriber. Like and tell me what you think. I'd like to know what you think. Tell me what you think. I am perpetual fast of a pizza to have a wonderful time with family, friends, and loved ones. Thank you.